Hi guys, this is Andrew again. Um, I'd like to introduce you to a little project. Um, I'm going to restore this one. Um, I picked it up yesterday and it cost me £5. This is the Defiant MSH, MSH 546 from uh, 1946 I think. Um, it's in not great condition and has been probably in, in someone's shed for some years. Um, this might only be one uh, a one part video if it uh, doesn't show any signs of life but anyway fingers crossed uh, hopefully it'll work uh, it's a five valve uh, three wave band super hat with a AC transformer um, sadly the only original knob left on it is this one here um, there would have been a matching one that side and then two smaller versions of that uh, here and here um, I think this is the on off volume uh, that's the tone, tuning and waveband I've not looked at it at all inside um, it's, uh, it's as new to you as it is me or the other way around it's, uh, there's a bit missing there off the grip, well not missing, it's broken off hopefully that'll be, I'll be able to glue that on this should be like a light tan colour, I think, and hopefully, hopefully it like that. sort of more like that colour. Um, quite a nice little pattern on the side here. If you can pick that up, but let's have a look at the back and see what's inside. Now, I don't like spiders very much. I'm not that scared of them. I just don't like them. And this one looks an absolute spider's nest in here, I think. So it's been in someone's shed for some time. Blech. Oh my word, look at that. That's disgusting. If you can see that. It's just vile. Uh, great big blech, spiders, loads of dead spiders up here. And, and down, let's put a light in there. Yeah, it's... Uh, pretty nasty stuff all the valves are in place um, it's actually got the same valves as the as the Strad I did uh, did in a recent video it's a UU6 rectifier uh, pen 45 output valve uh, it's an HL41D that's diode um, that's a VP1 and the TH41 um, I see what it is missing. It's missing a big filter capacitor down here in the the uh, the can um, transformer. Looks like it's got a bit of rust on it. Right, and someone's worked on it recently because that is not. Or when I say recently, at some point in its life, that's not the original mains lead. This is uh, plastic coated, um, probably three amp uh, lamp flex. Um, you can still buy this over here today and this white wire I guess I don't even like touching this, this is vile um, this must be the aerial lead, you see it's got a it's got a red wander plug on the end for plugging into the aerial socket like that so that was the aerial I guess at one point let's try and get rid of this Oh, we don't have venomous spiders. I just, I just don't like spiders. Horrible things. Right. See, someone's used the same bit of that lamp flex for uh, for coming off the audio output output transformer to the speaker. So yeah, it has had a little bit of work on on it. I'm not sure that. Yeah, that's probably original. That blue wire probably isn't original. I guess that was rubber covered at one point. Um, you can see inside it's glorious. I'll try and focus the camera a little bit better. There. It's just vile. Um, right, first thing I'm going to do, I'll leave you looking at the glories of this cabinet. I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to get a meter 
And what I'm going to do, put the radio back over here a little bit. Hopefully, you'll be able to see the meter. What I'm going to do is just put the uh, mains lead. Set this to ohms. I'm going to see uh, if we've got uh, connections through to the filter caps at least, or the smoothers. Right, hopefully you might see this needle if it's on. Let's make sure it's. Yeah, the switch. The switch seems quite positive. So let's switch it off. Right, it's going to see if the filter caps charge up, which they might across the mains lead and we've got a connection through the transformer as well. Yep. There we go, that's falling. Yep. Switch off. Good. Well that's positive. News. Let's see what we've got. What we've got across the caps. There we go, hopefully they'll start charging. And the needle's not really moving. There we go. You see there? They're probably dried out. So yeah, the, the smoothers are charging slightly. You can see that needle just quiver and move every now and again. Probably need replacing. I'm just hopeful that uh, one last check is that the audio output transformer works because that's not going to be replaceable. Let's, let's have a quick prod. Yep, that's one. Yep, yeah, and can you hear that? So that's the speaker working. I if you can. That's good news. Well, there we go, just a quick look. Um, what I've got to do is obviously giving it a damn good give it a damn good clean. Um, can't really see underneath. I'm presuming that whoever's took the electro electrolytic can out here has put something underneath. And it's just this right here, it's just vile. Yeah, I can see someone's put uh, put a blue um, smoothing capacitor, big uh, a big one underneath. Now, one thing I should say about these radios is um, is uh, they, it is very hard to get a schematic for them, a circuit diagram. Very hard. Um, so these, these were. Uh, I'll I'll tell you a bit about the history of uh, Defiant Radio, uh, radio in the next uh, video. But um, they were made for a company over here called the Co-op, who own a lot of stores throughout the UK. Uh, it's, it's quite an interesting story, um, but what you know, they were sold in store. They were quite cheap, but uh, it's it's very rare you'd you'd come with a circuit diagram or or any sort of um, instructions for these. Um, so I'm working blind on this, but it's just a standard set, so uh, I should be okay. Um, my camera's tilted dramatically. Look at that. I'm actually filming this while looking out the corner of my eye onto my computer monitor. I'm using a Canon 550D to uh, record my videos. Anyway, um, it's absolutely filthy inside. The chassis is going to have to come out. I think one problem I might have is uh, is getting these knobs off. No. I can't see any screws in this so these might be pull off and they might be wedged. Right, anyway, that's enough for now. Um, 
hope you like this radio. It's, it's quite a nice looking radio, I think, and hopefully the cabinet will uh, polish up quite quite nicely. Okay. Anyway, see you again. Bye bye.